Our Harbor Wildcats took on Heritage and it's homecoming. Let's get to the highlights. Kicking things off, Harbor scores right off the bat. And what's that? We didn't see it? I wonder why, Sam. Well, let me show you. That's right, our system crashed mid-drive. Annoying, isn't it? Anyway, Harbor's on the board. Let's get back to the highlights. Next drive, Drew McClendon is going to hand it off to Lane Reeder. He's going to run it up the middle and get sniped, but he's going to pick up 27 yards. That's a first down Wildcats. Same drive, Drew McClendon's hanging this one off to Hudson Brewer, who's going to power through. He knocks the stuffing out of that guy before finally running out of bounds at 15-yard line. Oh, life for Jose. Coach Wood says, hey, why not let them finish the job? Drew McClendon to Hudson Brewer again. This time, he's going to score touchdown Wildcats. Missing my guy, Matrix? Don't worry. Take a look at this. Heritage's Carter Hensley looks to take this one himself, but the Mack truck puts the hurt down. You can't stop the diesel. Drew McClendon is going to look to Peyton McKee. That's a 44-yard pass, and he's going to put on an extra seven on top of that. We're moving sticks and picking up chicks. First down, Harbor. Drew McClendon takes the handoff. He's going to take this one himself. Whoop! You can't stop him. He's too powerful. He's like a piece of iron. Same drive here. Drew McClendon's going to hand it off to Lane Reeder now, who's going to take it in for the touchdown as he poses for the flex camp. Later on, second quarter action, Drew McClendon looking for Pate McKee, but tip drill, number 14, Heritage, Cooper Bowman takes this one after a missed tackle and an illegal tackle in the back. Heritage is sitting on their 23-yard line. Heritage doesn't capitalize, and we're starting the third quarter now, and what do you know, a little starburst return courtesy of your very own Wood. Would you look at that? Lane Reader juking and driving a 50-yard return to kick off the third quarter. Same drive, Drew McClendon looking for Peyton McKee in the corner and nails it. Don't worry, you're going to hear a lot more about Peyton in this game. Heritage driving now, Carter Hensley looking for number nine, Nicholas Winter, and it's the revenge of Efren Chavez. Don't touch him. Don't even look at him. He's too strong. He's like a duck on water. Harvard driving now, Drew McClendon is going to look deep now to Hudson Brewer. That's a 45-yard pass, and Huddy B looking strong like bull. Same drive here, looking to capitalize. Drew McClendon to Lane Reader. He's going to go nearly untouched. Jansen Sanders comes in to celebrate. You want to go to Waffle House? Later on, Drew McClendon is going to connect with Peyton McKee and take a look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tackles before he is finally brought down. He's like the product of a baby Yeti mixed with a full-grown adult unicorn. Magical. It's the War Eagles' turn now, capitalizing on the only points of the night for them. Carter Hensley to number seven, Stephen March for the easy six, but time is going to expire as Lane Reader takes the knee and the Sanders twins are buying short stacks all around. Harper takes this one 42 to six. Up next, it's rivalry week as the Wildcats take on the Bulldogs at Springdale. Be sure to tune in live for WCSN. I'm Nick Lutron.